Our group will be developing a microfluidic device to help detect and diagnose sepsis within patients. Our device will use capillary action and physical filters along with tracers that detect biomarkers procalcitonin and STREM1 in the plasma of patients. Sepsis is defined as a potentially life-threatening inflammatory response to a bacterial infection in the body. During this response, procalcitonin and STREM1 concentration levels have been shown to be elevated in the plasma of patients. As mentioned before, we will be using these concentrations to detect and diagnose sepsis within the patients. Our main microfluidic phenomena that we will use will be capillary action. Capillary action is the interaction amongst the fluid's cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension with a certain surface that moves the fluid against the force such as gravity. We will also be using physical filters to separate the plasma from the blood cells. This should prevent any cells from possibly interfering with our results. In this video, the end of the serum represents the physical filters that will only allow the serum to flow through the test. As the fluid uses capillary action to move through the device, it reaches the first band that detects procalcitonin. It then reaches the second band that should detect the elevated STREM1 concentration levels within the plasma. And finally, it reaches the last band that acts as a positive control to ensure that the device is working as it should.